Damas y caballeros, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joe J. Jr. and welcome to a new video. Now, today I decided to take a step out of my comfort zone, and when I say that I mean away from the Fright Fridays, away from the 5 Tip series, and away from the pomade reviews. And I wanted to share this video because for me, I've been a guy that's had curly hair all of his life, and because of it, I've always kept my hair short, because I never knew really how to tame that hair, so... I was doing some digging on the web and I found this one routine or technique that allows you to turn your hair from curly, wavy, or even frizzy to just straight, nice hair without a flat iron and without any expensive chemical treatments. So all you're going to be needing for this is going to be a paddle brush. Uh, I don't think it really matters what kind, but if you're asking for my opinion, I'd say one that's got like a solid top because I've used one with a curved back and it just doesn't work the same. Of course, you're going to need a heat protectant to protect your hair from all the heat that's being brought up by the third thing, which is a blow dryer. Now, other thing is just your choice of product, whether it's pomades, clays, pastes, whatever you'd like. Uh, I personally like to start out with, you know, hair mousse, and then once I get that throughout my hair, then I usually apply a pomade or sometimes I just leave it how it is, depending on what I'm going to be doing throughout the day. So I know my hair doesn't look curly right now, but that's because I just put in the heat protectant. For the heat protectant, you don't need like any specific way of putting it in, just at a distance, just spray it around and make sure to leave it throughout your hair and give it a few time. Give it a little bit of time to just sit there and just really get absorbed into your hair. So. As I go through this, you know, I'm just going to start explaining step by step until I get to the blow drying. From that point, I'm going to be dead silent and you're just going to hear me doing like a voiceover. Alright? So, just remember for this, we are going to start on max heat and the max speed. So, now that I've let it sit for a while, I'm going to start applying my hair moves. I don't really like to put too much hair mousse, just like about that much. You don't have to use hair mousse, like I said, you could just use the uh, the heat protectant, but I just like the extra hold that the mousse gives my hair. So remember with any, any product, I've said this in my pomade reviews videos, but you gotta distribute it everywhere. You can't just be picking at the tips. Now I see this, English. I say this because I've seen like a lot of guys like on Instagram that are styling their hairs and they put hairspray or pomades and gels and they only get like little tips of their hair. You can't really be doing that if you want like the maximum hold. You really got to go in and get it all throughout. You see, look at how long my hair is right now guys. So yeah, it doesn't really look that long, uh, mostly because my hair is very curved as I said. So switching to the voiceover, remember high heat and I think it's the highest velocity. Damas y caballeros, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jojit Jr. And welcome to, I guess, what you could consider my commentary over this hairstyling video or tutorial. So, I've had curly hair for a long time in my life. And I've always struggled finding a way to tame it. And my way of doing it was always just slicking my hair back. Uh, until I found this blow drying technique called the flat wrap. Now, I can't take credit for this because I didn't find it out. Uh, I think the guy who I saw this from years ago was uh, Blue Mon. He has his own fashion and hairstyling thing, so I definitely recommend you guys checking him out. But when I saw this video, you know, I kind of practiced the technique and ended up working for me a lot. Now, I will say this, it takes a lot of time, and I'll go and explain this more throughout the video. But essentially, you just need a paddle brush, a blow dryer, and then your choice of products. You comb the left side of your head back for 45 seconds, the other side for 45 seconds. You can even do the middle and then you just comb it all to the side for 45 and switch it over. So if you're a person that's got really curly hair, or you have a lot of frizziness, waves, and you just want to get it straight, definitely pay attention to what's going on around this video and see how I do it. So this is a voiceover after I've recorded the video, so I may be a little bit repetitive, just letting you guys know. Um, I think I'm approaching the end of my time before I start speaking again, so I'll pick this back up towards, well, when I turn the blow dryer on again, I guess. Okay guys, so at the moment, 
my hair is very warm. You can also tell it looks very slick. It's got a nice shine to it, but we're not done yet. Okay, we gotta go over this a second time, but this time we're not going high heat, high velocity. We're going high heat, lowest, lowest, and I mean the lowest setting your blow dryer can go. So this is just as like a second wave, you know, just to seal the deal here. So again, switching back to voiceover. Now, I don't really remember what the second uh, reason for going over it again was. I feel like it's more for drying up the hair and either in this part of the video or maybe later down you'll see me like holding it back towards or you'll see me holding the blow dryer uh, at the back of my head. Well, it's mostly because for me, you know, the back always takes longer. I don't know if that's just me because of my longer hair, if you guys have had any experience like that. but. I'd say it's probably just to dry up what's left of your hair. Obviously not all the way because that can be damaging. Again guys, always be careful when blow drying your hair as it can damage your hair and even hurt your scalp. So. Okay guys, so normally depending on how curly or how frizzy your hair is will determine how long you end up going into this. Like how long you're gonna spend combing your hair left, right, and back. But for me, my hair is very curly normally, but you know, today it's just, I don't know if it's taking a break, but it's just a little bit more on the wavy side with curls at the end. So I didn't need to do the second one for too long. Normally you would do this for 45 seconds on each side, you know, 45 seconds here, 45 seconds here, comb it this way, 45 seconds, comb it the other way, 45 seconds and repeat. Normally the curlier your hair, the longer or the more times you'd have to go over it. So, we're almost done here guys. Now that I have got it the way it is, you know, by this point, using the comb and everything, it just glides through so easily. And you guys can already see it looks very flat. Really flat actually. So, for the final step, you gotta put in a lot, a lot of power on this one. But there's no heat. It's completely cool air just to lock everything into place for the end result. Okay, so with this, you know, you basically repeat everything you've been doing with cold air high velocity and it helps cool your head down because at this point your hair and your head's probably got to be pretty hot now something you've probably already noticed if you've been trying this already is that your hair goes from being uh, tough and all tangled up to being just smooth you know the comb the brush just goes and glides through your hair which is another bonus to this not only do you end up with straight hair but it's very manageable and it basically just flows naturally so definitely try this out you're gonna see the end result in a few minutes I'd say so stay tuned and we are done so if you guys did things right your hair should just be normally just plopping left and right because as you guys saw at the beginning my hair was kind of just all over the place but now you guys see that it just flops left and right, all flowy and natural like. Now with hair like this, you guys can pretty much do whatever style you want, but just remember, as the day goes through, it might end up going all over the place. You can comb it any way you like, your hair's gonna be free flowing and all natural. You can either leave it flat or you can apply some product to finish it off. And of course, when I say whatever product, the decision is yours whether you wanna shine or whether you want a more dry natural hold. Me, with the hold that comes from the mousse itself, I don't really have any neat use for a hold. It kind of just stays just at the right level I want it to. If you guys want to know what kind, I'm using the Ion Volumizing Shine Enhancement Mousse. Um, I haven't used a lot of mousses, but so far this has done, this has been able to get the job done better than most. So, Okay, so I didn't like the way I ended the video, so I decided to record this extra clip where I'm just showing you guys how, like, the end result. So, clearly I've missed a little bit of spots in the back, but like I said earlier, I always take a little bit longer because the back's always been, like, the hardest part for me. But you guys can see I can make my hair go left, right, back, I can even middle part it. So, I would definitely recommend this for anybody out there who has 
semi-medium long hair. Um, it really helps. And, you know, damas y caballeros, I hope you guys have an amazing day because you guys are all amazing people. And if you want to make my day even more amazing, hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below on any future content you guys would like to see because I really like doing this, these type of things on my channel. So, yeah, let me know, guys, whatever you want to see. Anyways, I'm out.